Hi, and welcome to Ask the Experts with Alka. On today's show, I'm so excited to share with you the eight reasons and the behaviors of unstoppable entrepreneurs. Yes, unstoppable entrepreneurs. What is the secret ingredient that unstoppable entrepreneurs have? What is their fuel? What's their fire? What keeps them that burning desire, what keeps them late at night, they wake up early, ready to get rocking in their day, in their business. So I want to share with you the eight reasons of the behaviors of unstoppable entrepreneurs. Now, being an entrepreneur isn't easy by all means. But it's a vocation that we chose to get into. Now, this is a vocation that we chose and we need to make every ounce as possible to be to have the business be a success. Now, what entrepreneurs have, unstoppable entrepreneurs have, is that they have cultivated habits and rituals that most people don't have or they've not adopted. So these habits that they have is the passion for the business, the passion that it takes to take care of employees and organization, the passion to really be a foresight into how the business, having been a visionary as to where the business is heading and discipline. They have cultivated discipline, not only mentally by waking up early, because most entrepreneurs, especially unstoppable entrepreneurs, yes, unstoppable entrepreneurs wake up in the morning, wake up at five, and they are ready to get started in their day. So cultivating habits truly is the secret ingredient to unstoppable entrepreneurs. So number one reason for unstoppable entrepreneurs, what they possess is number one, they plan their day in advance. So when entrepreneurs, when they wake up in the morning, they plan and they are able to not only just plan for what's what's to happen they've got you know meetings but they will prioritize the difficult task that's to be done they do that first and so they go in order so the difficult task they will handle that first so it's very important to manage time they have you know time management because at the end of the day time is money and is valuable. Their time is so valuable. So they don't want to fit in every single task that needs to be done, but they prioritize. So making a list and not just being vague of planning, but they make a list of the priorities, what's important, they need to get that done first. So, and you need to be consistent because consistency over time is going to lead to success. And so they've already cultivated that into their day. So they have time. And it's also about balance because you need to balance your life. And you need to, and the only way that entrepreneurs can do that is they've have had the habit of truly benefiting by prioritizing the task that needs to be done. And so that's the most important and they prioritize. Number two, proper nutrition and exercise. Now, entrepreneurs never, never go without exercising. So if you wake up, when they wake up in the morning, they exercise for 20, 30 minutes. This gets set you know, the blood, the the heart rate pumping. And so they are better able to focus and be more productive in their day. So by exercising, it, you know, and on, they're being more productive. And by this way, it just gets them to, you know, moving, the more movement that they're able to do first thing in the morning really gets them 
that body body in that proper state in that proper mindset but also it's not just about the mind but if you don't take care of your body so your body is an instrument of your mind so if you don't take care of your body you will not be at your best and you will definitely not be able to be productive and you won't be unstoppable. So if you want to be unstoppable, you've got to take care of your body and your mind because your mind and your body are connected and one feeds off to the other. So you have to take care of your body and nutrition. You know, in the morning, entrepreneurs, they like to have a shake. A green smoothie truly is electrifying. It's got, it's got electrolytes that is going to keep you productive and feeding your mind as well is most most important so that is going to come into play nutrition and exercise entrepreneurs unstoppable entrepreneurs know exactly the nutrition they need to have the supplements and exercise point number three they position themselves to serve so an effective business owner sees the success, not just not just his success, but also the well-being of employees, team members in the organization, because they know the importance of having a team, of having people around, because employees and team members are the ones who are going to create the success for the organization. So an owner of the business an entrepreneur knows exactly how to cultivate team members, knows exactly how to take and leverage on team members and employees. Because at the end of the day, that is where success comes. Success does not come just from his or her, but also the organization in general. So in the organization, you have team members, you have employees, and they are the ones who are going to make the organization, the business a success. So they serve other people. So in return, they will, the organization is going to be, is going to benefit and have success. Unstoppable entrepreneurs. Point number four, set clear goals. Now, business owners, leaders, they set specific clear goals. So these are smart goals. So specific, measurable, attainable results that entrepreneurs do. And by doing smart having smart goals, be more specific, having clear goals for the company. Where is them? What's the mission and vision of the company? Where is the company heading? So they are at the helm of the ship. They are directing the team, employees to really take hold on where the ship is going. So they already have a compass. So by setting clear goals, you have your compass already set in place. So this will keep them going. Uh, This will keep them going. But also when things get out of hand, what's important is writing down goals. So what are some of the, the blocks or challenges that they might experience, that entrepreneurs might experience? By writing goals three times a day is very important. First thing in the morning, then in the afternoon and in the evening, they will write their goals down. Because in this way, they're able to see what has happened throughout the day and they are better able to really hone in. So it's, it's a target. They set a target what needs to be expected, what's the expectations of themselves as entrepreneurs, what what tasks need to get done, and also what are the expectations of employees. So they will set short-term goals, mid-term goals, and long-term goals of the company, of the organization. So in this way, by setting clear-cut goals, 
employees, team members know exactly what is happening in the organization. So with the owner, the entrepreneur in mind, the leader of the company, they set the president to everyone in the company because they've set short, midterm and long-term goals for the for the employees and everyone is on the same page because they're all working together. They all, you know, have their goals in place as well so that the company in general is going to be a great success. So unstoppable entrepreneurs always set clear goals, clear, specific crystallized, defined goals. And these are smart goals. So they take action on these smart goals, you know, writing their goals down, sharing with the team members. So everyone is on the same page. Point number five, they take calculative risks. Now, entrepreneurs, there's no reward without taking risks. They absolutely know that. So as an entrepreneur, you are always taking an element of risk because there's no reward without the risk. Absolutely. It's a preconceived notion that entrepreneurs take crazy risks, crazy risks like for fun. They are calculated. It's important to know the numbers and the probabilities behind the action. So an entrepreneur does not, an entrepreneur takes calculated risks, but they do not take risk and they are not crazy. So in this, in this case, for instance, I'm referring to gambling. Entrepreneurs, unstoppable entrepreneurs do not gamble because although that is risk, they don't believe in gambling. They believe in risk. If you, as a real estate investor, you are required to take an element of risk. There's no reward in real estate if you do not take the risk. So they know the probabilities behind behind their actions. And because every action has a reaction and that reaction, if they gamble, they will not do that. So their calculative risk comes in the form of when it comes to real estate. As a real estate investor, that is where they take the calculative risks because there's no reward in property investing if you're not prepared to take an element of risk. Point number six, They know their strengths and weaknesses. Every entrepreneur knows their strengths. If they're not able to do a specific task, they will leverage. They will leverage virtual assistants. They will leverage outsourcing to the Philippines or India because labor, they, you know, take advantage of people in the industry because the labor is cheaper and they know the value. So they know that whatever task they cannot do, they will leverage. So successful business owners are honest. They're honest about themselves. You got to be honest. Where is your strength? My strength, I know. I know my strength. I love to outsource. I love people. I love to connect and I love to help and serve my team. So you got to know your strength. And when you know what your strengths and weaknesses are, it takes a lot of pressure off of you because now you know you've got a team, you've got a, you're outsourcing tasks. And this takes a lot of humility to say, this is not my strength. I'm going to outsource. But to be an unstoppable entrepreneur, you know, you have to examine what your strengths and weaknesses are. And only in this way, once you've identified, you will know who to hire, virtual assistants, because they will do the mural tasks while you as an entrepreneur, as an unstoppable entrepreneur is going to, you are in charge of the helm of the ship. You are at the helm of the ship and you are in, in charge of doing, taking the high priority tasks. 
and the menial tasks you are going to outsource to other individuals. And also you can partner with, um, you know, other individuals because they also have specific skill sets. And so if your skill is not in one area, but you partner with other companies who have those skill sets, then this also is going to lead to success. So knowing what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. Point number seven, they hire a team players. Most entrepreneurs that don't succeed perhaps feel threatened. Why do most entrepreneurs feel threatened? Because they are not confident in themselves and they also do not want their employees to be successful. But if you as an entrepreneur, as an unstoppable entrepreneur, you will have your team, your team members, your employees be successful. You will get them to be part of your inner circle. And what I mean by that is being part of your inner circle is that you will get them to do have high priority tasks that is really going to be to their benefit. And once your team members are also part of your inner circle, you get to focus on their best. You get to focus on their strengths. And by leveraging on the strengths of your employees, you will see the results. You will see the knock-on effect that this will have not only on you as an entrepreneur, but the reward is going to be much higher for your team members. So people will feel that, you know, they are doing their best and they want to always keep on doing their best. So you you should never have to be, you know, feel threatened from your team members, your team players. But unstoppable entrepreneurs always have A team players. They always know who is the best, who's the best team member that is also playing in the same ranks as the unstoppable entrepreneur, as the as an owner, as an entrepreneur of that organization. Your team players are also playing on the same game, on the same page as you. Point number eight, they are constantly learning. Now, I've been a personal development student for the past eight years and I've, I've had mentors. I've had mentors in my life and it's been the greatest lesson that I have had that my mentors have taught me. I'm a real estate entrepreneur and I would not be here today if it wasn't for my mentors. And I'm also willing to learn I have an open mind. So if you're constantly learning, you're always having an open mind. Unstoppable entrepreneurs always have an open mind. They're always learning. They always, it doesn't matter who it's from, your mentors. You could be learning from, you know, from family, but unstoppable entrepreneurs have that hunger to learn. And unstoppable entrepreneurs know they don't know, they don't know it all. I don't know it all, but I'm, you know, I ask questions. I ask questions to my, to my mentors. I'm asking questions to my colleagues because we don't know it all. If we knew it all, we would not be here, right? So we want to always be constantly learning. We always constantly want to be constantly investing in ourselves because we are our best investment. There's no investment like it, like being your own investment. So constant keep on learning, always being, keep on improving because as entrepreneurs, we are constantly evolving and improving and growing. If we are not growing, we are dying. These are my eight tips of the behaviors of unstoppable entrepreneurs and the list, the names that I gave, Richard Branson, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, 
They all have the secret ingredients, the eight tips I shared with you. They have it all. And they are doing exactly what it takes to be unstoppable. And you too can be unstoppable by taking note of these eight points of the behaviors of unstoppable entrepreneurs. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining as the experts with Alka. Each and every show, I'll be bringing on entrepreneurs who are sharing their stories, their journey, how they are unstoppable in their life today. So thank you for joining me on this show, episode 14 of The Behaviors of Unstoppable Entrepreneurs. Thank you. My name is Alka. I'm a real estate investor from Toronto, Canada. Stay tuned.